every year in the spring, 1.5 billion people in the world lose an hour of sleep. And in the United States, we're going to do that this coming weekend when we spring our clocks ahead and shorten the amount of time we have available for sleep. And epidemiologists have looked at this carefully. And in, for example, on that Monday morning, next Monday, uh, there is a 6 to 17 percent increase in motor vehicle crashes on the nation's highways, uh, <coughs> including a 17 percent increase in fatal crashes, uh, alcohol-related fatalities, uh, as well as a, a studies in Sweden where they've gone through 20 years of myocardial infarction data have shown a 5% increase in the occurrence of heart attacks in the week following this one hour loss of sleep. So can you imagine? And, and in the fall, when we add an hour back to our sleep time, uh, the rate of uh, heart attacks drops by 5%. So if you, th you know, when you think of the, the days that you've uh, cut an hour out of your sleep preparing a grant proposal or <laughs> cut a few hours or, or done whatever, uh, we don't think of that as increasing our risk of cardiovascular uh, accidents and, and, and uh, motor vehicle crashes uh, and potentially increasing the risk of metabolic uh, disorders that lead to diabetes. But that is, how, that is how sensitive the biology of our system is to this.